Hello guys, it's Morvada. And we're continuing the Kate Walker story. So we're just about to move to the music district. Also, I think that <clears throat> because we have left the uh, uh, mountains, right? Then we need to pull ourselves because it was so cold in here. And this place sh uh, sh uh, should be uh, more uh, warm, right? And yet we are still w wearing the jacket of a Ours. Hmm. So I think we on this table we have things from our the other uh, missions. Okay, so we are gonna visit the place from uh, the very beginning. Prologue. It's really handy having a tram stop so close to the guest house. That's Germany over there. I wonder how far Bauchstadt University is from here. Wagen is surrounded by the Alps. Oh, I understand why Wageners call their town the heart of Europe. It's literally... Demoiselle Lenny told me the Music Academy is near the Musical Square. Maybe Frau Wagner can tell me more. Frau Wagner? Ah, the receptionist, right. Ah, oh, hello, Miss Walker. Ah, oh, Miss Walker, did you sleep all right? Uh, fine, thanks. Now, is there anything you need? Everything seems to link the person I'm looking for with the Second World War and the rise of the Brown Shadow. Terrible times were those, my dear. Especially when Wagen was occupied after the annexation of Ostertal. Thank God I was born just after the liberation. I see. I do wonder why I guess you the game looks so plain without reshade. Of those events. After effects. Oh yes, dear. There was a kind of conspiracy of silence where everyone suspected each other, even their close friends. Barukstadt? Did any of them collaborate with the enemy? And mm. if so, was it through like mindedness? This place with an university. Were they responsible in one way or another for the arrest or death of a family member? Oh, I must have been awful. A terrible time where we had to present the visa to well, the person I'm looking for uh, is uh, from the same generation. Ask some uh, soldier to open the gate for us because we'll he thought that a tree is some uh, an enemy soldier. I'd like to go to the music academy. Can you tell me how to get there? You just need to take the tram northbound to the musical square. Is there anything I should know about the academy? To tell the truth, it's a little glum nowadays, especially when you think it was once the jewel of the town, where students came from all over the world to perform on the musical square, you know. <sighs> Pity. It's since lost its panache of old through lack of students and means. I went to the Zilberspiegel Refuge yesterday. Oh, magnificent. I won't disagree with that, Miss Walker. Those mountains are the of the town, just like old Lenny. Lenny is highly respected in Wagen because she was a resistance fighter during World War II, right? Well, I heard about it when I was at the refuge. Lenny Renner might be a grumpy old spinster, but to us, she's still a heroine. <laughs> Pity the same can't be said of her father, though. Still, everyone has their cross to bear, as they say. What do you mean? No point gossip-mongering. The war was a dark time in Wagen for everyone, see? Best not stir up old memories. 
You had. Well, I, I guess I should get going. Or bad, bad, bad. Thank you for your time. In our hands. Feel free to ask if you have any more questions. And once again, someone will follow us. But I, I really like this uh, back. First, music plots. But it's it's kind of funny that everyone around us is wearing uh, some shirts only, and you are running in jacket. A bar. Yeah, but those beards. Are there any quests with them or something? I just remember that they had a room where three guys were uh, sitting. Some professors, right? But they were like... Uh, arch Armages. From Gothic too. Lose introspection before you go to the academy. Where? Like this district has been more modernized than the antique shop district. The game started black for some reason. Oh yeah, now I remember. Wait, let me see if something is happening in the background, but I don't think so. No. Weird. Nice transition from running to going up. Don't do that. Stop it. I wanted to go here anyway. It's Oscar. Put me down! Oscar? Bet you can't catch it! Don't you dare! Put it down! Right now! Alright then. Oscar! <laughs> Are you alright? 
I had a bit of a bumpy ride, but I am glad to see you, Kate Walker. Oscar, oh, I've missed you so much. I say, this display of emotion is most unreasonable, Kate Walker. I do hope you don't plan such profusion every time I change bodies. It's just that I've been worrying about you. Where were you, Oscar? Well, the mechanical instinct of my host took me for a ride. All across town. It took me the whole night to tame it. And that's when I bumped into those little rascals. Raska does not sleep off the Valkyrie Senpai. Quite. So, Kate Walker, what has happened since we parted at the Balaton River? Maybe we should just sit down for a second, Oscar. This this might take a while. I see, Kate Walker. And that's when Demoiselle Lenny gave me the address of the Music Academy in this neighborhood. I see, Kate Walker. <laughs> it's better. You must think I'm crazy, huh? Running after that girl, Dana, who must have died ages ago. Well, Kate Walker, you know I have difficulty understanding illogical thought patterns. But in the end, what I do understand is that you need to find her. Is that correct, Kate Walker? Yes. That is correct, Oscar. I'm glad you're taking it so well. I don't see any fundamental difference between crossing Europe in search of mammoths, traveling on ostriches in an irradiated zone, or following your double. These are not things an automaton such as I take into consideration. Any other thoughts, Oscar? Well, I guess I could ask you where we are heading, but truth be told, it doesn't really matter. I will follow you wherever you lead, and for as long as you require my services, Kate Walker. That's what an automaton does. Thank you, Oscar. Oh dear, I hope you're not going to become physical, are you? No, I was just going to give you a pat on the back. I would rather you refrain from having such thoughts. I am not a dog, you know. Whatever next. Anyway, we'd better get going, Oscar, and you'd better keep out of sight. <sighs> Oh dear, I don't suppose I have any choice. <laughs> I'm so glad he's back. Is everything all right, Kate Walker? How is your research going, Kate Walker? Is there anything that requires my assistance? It's all very humiliating for a sophisticated automaton like myself, you know. I'm counting on you to transplant my mechanical heart as soon as we come across an XZ2000 automaton. Kate Walker, would you mind using a bigger bag in the future? Yes, Kate Walker? It's all very humili- I'm so glad- Is it really necessary for me to be shut up in here, Kate Walker? Sorry, Oscar, but I don't want to run the risk of losing you again. Victims of the genocide committed by the fascists during the Second World War. Oh, so many deaths. I hope Dana made it through. Time jumps, you would pass him. But I prefer him in his human body. Better action. She, she just surprised and by. I thought it would change something. Because he's not an animal.
I'm not really sure where I where can I use the introspection. Uh, I mean introspection. Like a crown. Kinda, yeah. I can't open it like this. It looks like it's been mechanically sealed. Due to the forthcoming computerization of the machine, our orchestra of the musical square ring this piano is strictly forbidden until further notice. I see. Strange. What is strange? Strange. To what? No. Oh. Yeah, I thought that this place is fitting for introspection. I only know Dana as a waitress at the refuge, and yet everything seems to fit with her here. Not hard to imagine her coming here to the Music Academy to study. And who knows, maybe Leon waited for her outside one day as a surprise. She has a Seabach. Returning from his Baltayar expedition. I don't have time for some sightseeing. Yeah, it looks nice. Do you know where the Music Academy is, Oscar? It should logically be on the square. We are on the square. Looks like they've tried to blend all these new shops into the original facades. <laughs> it doesn't make it any less a tourist trap, though. To be honest, I thought it's this uh, big building, but... Do you know where the Music Academy is, Oscar? It should logically be on the square. As I have a déjà vu from the Duncan, uh, the longest journey. Because, uh, how, how was she called? Uh, main protagonist of Longest journey. Um, Epiraya, right. So Dana is kind of like a a April. All these letters. They look like letters of formal notice. They probably haven't been paying the bills for some time. that the academy is on the brink of bankruptcy. So that's the famous Wagen Music Academy? 
It's not what I was expecting. Me neither. Guten Tag! What now? If you're from the council, you can come back when I'm not so busy. Because she is also working in... Uh, uh, not working, but she is going to music slash art academy as well. Oh, sorry, you startled me. So, now what do you want, council minion? I'm yeah, not from the council. I'm, I'm just a visitor here. I came because I was hoping to look at the file. I'm Esper once again. I wanted to say the same sentence. Oh. I'm, I'm sorry. I. Uh... It's just that I haven't time for digging up old files from 70 years ago. I have way too much to do here, you understand. I can tell you're a little overwhelmed. Where's the rest of the staff? Or, or maybe a student could show me. You are standing in front of the rector and the only employee of this academy. My name is Maximilian Mahler, and it falls upon me to manage everything on the premises. The maintenance, the archiving, and the lot before we close next month. So, if you don't mind... I'm very sorry to hear that the Academy is closing, and I can see you're extremely busy, but I've come such a long way to see it. I'd be so grateful if you could locate it. It's really important to me. It is very lovely. And so is this place. Important to me, too. And I would love to hear the mechanical orchestra play one last time before the Academy closes. But... Alas, I can't, can I? Uh, unless, uh... Unless what? Well, um, you know. All right, then. So if I get the mechanical orchestra going, you'll get me that file, right? Oh, uh, of course, Fraulein. Of course. Okay, I'll give it a try. Believe it or not, I have seen mechanisms like the one on the square before. Well, in that case, I promise to give you the file in return for your services. <laughs> Thanks. But I must warn you that the square has undergone some transformations over the years, and some parts of the mechanism may be difficult to get to. Don't worry, I'll make myself thin and slide between the cracks. You'll find some of them scattered around the square, and some of the others you'll find in the clock tower. Now, if you'll excuse me for a second. What are you... Now, uh, what is the name of that student you're interested in? Rose. Dana Rose. And what were the years she attended our illustrious academy? In the 30s. 1937, to be precise. Oh. And here it is. And here you will find the annual inspection reports of the mechanisms by Frau Beckman. Frau Beckman? She was the rectoress of the academy during the years you spoke of. These are from 1937. <laughs> you see, I have a marvelous memory regarding archives. <laughs> this is why I have chosen Frau Beckman's, because there's something in here regarding that Edna Droz you spoke of. Dana, Dana Rose. Uh, quite. You will also find some sheet music with annotations. This is the Hymn of Bargain, which you must play on the piano on the square I must play. in order to activate the Orchestra of Automations. Once you have fixed the mechanisms, of course. All right, then. Here you go. What are you waiting for? This sheet music corresponds to the piano part for the Hymn of Wagen. 
Someone's added annotations. They could help me play the hymn on the piano on the square, like the rector asked me to. Look, it's a go. White and black dots. So, Japanese go game. Hmm. I wonder what it's supposed to represent. The report that the Rectoress of the Academy filled in with the help of Dana back in the 30s. According to the present Rector, I should find all the information I need to repair the mechanisms on the square. Hmm. Just looks so bad without this reshade. Music Academy Inspection Report, October 12th, 1937. Today, oh, we are gonna go in the past. To inspect the musical mechanisms that enable students we'll jump between to Kate and, play of their uh, and enable us to showcase the quality Donna. of our teaching to the people of our beautiful town. I think it will be funny if I will like every year, meet up with Dana on from our students to help her gra graveyard. Lol. And this year's choice was obvious. I'm fine, really. Well, you're looking off color, darling, and on edge. No, it's just that... It's just that I haven't heard from Leon since he left with the Origin Expedition from Kantar. And also, I... Well, we've got company. You'll tell me later, Dana, darling. Meantime, be good and stay safe. You too, Yunta. Yunta. Is everything all right? You look under the weather. We don't want one of our best and brightest to fall ill now, do we? I... I'm just a little worried, that's all. About my... About a friend who has left on a long voyage. And who was that lady? Um, just a friend. I met this summer. You do keep some surprising company, Fraulein Rose. Anyway, I have something for you that will take your mind off things. Oh? Would it interest you to see the mechanisms that enabled you to perform so brilliantly here last spring? That would be wonderful. Good. Come and join me at the kiosk when you have a moment. But don't be too long, though. Yeah, friendly on us. Come and see, Fraulein. Incredible. Isn't it just? You see these flags? Each mechanism housing for each musical automaton on the square is represented by one of these flags. Fascinating! Today is the day they are being serviced. Each mechanism has been inspected by an academy maintenance man. In theory, they are all functional. But if you like, you can go and see these maintenance men on my behalf and fetch back their respective reports. You would be doing me a big favor, as I have to inspect the piano in the kiosk. And also, it will give you a chance to take a peek at each of the automaton... Ah, Nim James. She wanted to say it, but not to her. That's why she stopped for a moment and said, Friend. Thank you. I'd be delighted. Now, take this. You'll need it to open the maintenance room that leads to the most impressive mechanism of all, that of the clock tower. Thank you, Frau Beckmann. Do you have any questions before you go? Do you know who built the mechanical orchestra? My father told me it didn't exist when he was young. They were built by a strange young French inventor by the name of Borrelberg some years ago. From what I heard, 
He was visiting Bargain while en route to the east, just after the huge fire that destroyed the town. He was moved by the legend of Vera Schonberg, that virtuoso who died in the fire. So he offered his talents to rebuild the city and create the mechanical orchestra. When the mechanical orchestra played along with me last spring, it was incredible. But how does it manage to play at the same tempo as the piano? It was almost like in a dream. Oh, it wasn't dream work, Fraulein, but clockwork. The piano is connected to the mechanism that you are going to inspect and the hymn of Wagen played on the keys. That's what sets the rhythm and the intensity of the performance. And that's what triggers everything else. Yeah, I hope so. I even say it on the future stream. What happened to Vera Schoenberg? My mother always says it's the saddest story. And she's right. You probably know that Vera Schoenberg was Wagen's most famous musician at the beginning of the century. But her legend was truly born the night she performed a cello concerto, right here on the square. It was also the night of the worst fire in Wagen's modern history. And Frau Schönberg, she... she died in the fire, right? She did. As well as all the other musicians and the entire audience. They were surrounded by flames, trapped on this square. How dreadful. Dreadful indeed. But according to the legend, Vera Schonberg kept playing Wagen's hymn until the very end. She understood they were all doomed to die, and her music brought them peace of mind during their last moments. This automaton you played with last spring was created in her image as a final tribute. I had no idea. Well, now you know all about the legend of Vera Schonberg. Was there something else, Fraulein Rose? I think she even looks kind of bigger than the rest of the Ottomans. I'll go and see the maintenance team. Good. Thank you, Fraulein. Huh. <sighs> According to Frau Beckmann, it opens the maintenance room just next to the clock tower. Okay, okay, we know how it works. You can tell Frau Beckmann. This automaton still works correctly, but it's so filthy that it won't last long. Yeah, well, I, I really like the difference in the music of uh, the past and present. I can hardly believe I held my concert here just six months ago. Six months. Seems like a lifetime. So much has happened. Meeting Leon for a start. It would be so good if he were here now. I love receiving his letters since he left to Baltea with the Origin Expedition. The way he described Kantar, the capital, made it sound like a city from a dream. We've said so much on paper. And I love to read between the lines. But since the expedition left Kantar for the mountains, no news. I just hope he's okay. What about the tank? The maintenance man said it was functional. I shouldn't touch it. Looks like the rector was right, Oscar. I should be able to find the mechanisms he wants me to repair, 
by following the circuit Dana described in the report. They would still need to be accessible to us today, Kate Walker. Glad to see you haven't lost any of your legendary optimism, my dear Oscar. Wait, Carrie is was it? Uh wait. Let me write it somewhere else. Uh, wait, I'll just make a photo of it. And I will try to call Olivia. Okay. Okay, so it's like this. I, I will use the mouse, it will be faster. Hi, you've reached Olivia. I'm busy right now, but please leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Now what? I see you're not a fan of modernizing the square. Oh, the council, in its great wisdom, deemed it outdated and unpredictable for the musical automatons to be triggered by the best student in the academy, or a soloist or a virtuoso visiting Vargan. Not to mention buskers, they certainly don't attract any tourists. No. Oh, Angels. The other are like the musician from and computerize the activation of the mechanical eleven episode of Detective Conan. So it would happen on a schedule. Moonlight Sonata. Like an attraction. Did they do it? Oh, the talks went on and on, but nothing was ever done. And so the square has basically been abandoned. And the mechanical automatons have fallen into disrepair. I'd better get going then. Quite. Uh, good luck with the mechanisms, Fraulein. Yeah, I pressed the wrong button, but never mind. So you're the one Frau Beckman sent, are you? Well, you can tell her there's no problem with this automaton. Just needs cleaning up and a bit of oiling. Have a gander at the mechanism if you like. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Oh, oh I thought it doesn't have an A. Wait. Angels are surprised that I know what to do so easily. successfully completing the service the rector asked of you. Thanks, Oscar. But I still have to find the other mechanisms. Ah, oh, wait, wait. I didn't want to touch. But anyway, let's see what this guy have wrote. Written. I mean, wrote. Uh... He said that there ah. I have used binary code to text translation. Ah, 
it had to fall to me. Hmm. I don't think they mentioned this code in the report. Given the condition of that door, it should give way if I force it a bit. Such an act is illegal. Let's just hope that no police come by here. What now? Looks like a part is missing. No, I doubt I can be a wrong one. Better try something else. The connection between this mechanism and the other ones on the square seems to be operational. Hmm. Some <sighs> okay, and where is the last one? Ah. A part of the mechanism was damaged, but I changed it. You can tell Frau Beckman everything's in order now. Oh, that's our do do uh, those dots on the document. Wait. And start lagging once again. Why? Just look at her. My god. You just have to do so. Look for Mother of God. An automaton musician. Looks exactly like Hans's style. Like at Bohrgstadt. looks locked. I can't go in. I don't believe it. Because of that van, I can't get to the mechanism. Oh, I have, I have to find a way to move it. I have to call there, right? Okay, I'll make a photo of it. I'm not sure why game is lagging. Now. Wagner Balfirma Dietrich, guten Tag. Hello, excuse me, but your your van's parked on the square and it's it's blocking the way. Would you mind moving it? Oh, sorry about that. I'm with a client nearby. I'll move it right away. Thank you. What note? Looks like the rector is desperate to reduce the costs of running the academy. It's not a public phone. <laughs> Ooh. 
well. Too bad. Yeah, I know the game's lag lagging, but I don't know why. Demo, but two version. Well, it's fine. Unless well, oh, wait. It's from the other side, so I can I have to like rotate it in my mind. Uh, I think. Yeah, it's from the other side, so it's like uh, if this thing have. Let me set it once again. And now for the full rotation. Five numbers, right? Just use the mouse because for some reason it's looking so weird. I mean, for some reason it's hard to rotate it on the path.
okay, it should be fine. Now. Impossible. I'm of no. Wait. Uh huh. There's no air flowing through. I must have missed something. Hmm. Something's wrong. I mean, it's not really that hard, I'm James. It's just tiresome. Looks locked. I can't go in. Let's go by the window. For what you're doing here, right? that quest? Don't go and injure yourself or damage any of the material. I don't have any side quests. What do you mean? For the automatons on the square. I've just come down from the tower. You can tell Frau Beckman everything's in order up there. The mechanism's in perfect condition. According to what the maintenance guy told Dana, there should be an access to the clock tower. 
Oh, I've already checked over everything upstairs. There's no point you going up there. I would love to be able to climb to the top of the clock tower. They say the mechanism is incredible. Oh. Oh. You're right. I, I will do it later. Go and write out your report to Frau Beck. I would love to be able to climb to the top of the clock tower. They say the mechanism is incredible. So why didn't you say so when you were talking out the phone? Should go back and see how Beckman. The report ends here. It doesn't say what happens next. to fall to me. <gasps> Looks locked. I can't go in. That brand was everywhere in New York when I left. And now they... According to the report, we can access the clock tower mechanism through this building in what today must be the back room. Guten Tag. How may I help you? Well, I... I need to get to the back room of the shop. This shop? Yes, if you don't... I'm sorry, but it's strictly forbidden to the public. Besides, why would anyone want to go back there? Well, it seems that the back room has the only access to the clock tower, which is where I need to get. I'm sorry, but it's against company rules. I can't allow it, Fräulein. Okay. Thanks, anyway. I know, Jones. I asked you why you didn't say so when I was checking the phone. Okay. So don't waste the time. I need to find another way in. I'm sorry, but if you're not going to drink anything, I must ask you to leave. The elevator Dana saw during her inspection must be right here, behind the door. I need to find a way to reach it. Now by the window. Oh, I, I think we lose Oscar. Hmm. I should be able to get through it. Never yeah, mind. If I can reach it. Of course, everyone is ignoring us. Hi, gems. With an end, yeah, like that. 
good. I'm glad. Now I just I hope that this game is good. To the clock tower. Must I remind you that we are here illegally, Kate Walker? The employee will be very surprised to see you coming out of his back room. According to the report, the elevator should be behind there. Let's hope it hasn't been walled up since. There. Okay. Just need to clear the passageway. Here we hear it. And of course, no one has heard us. And of course, no one will notice the missing elevator. Exactly, any chance. The Evil Within uh, add on, I mean, DLC to Fierce Game also starts. Uh, I mean, when you get control over the main character, the female police woman, right? Then the first uh, angle is when you are cra crawling out from the uh, car, right? And of course, the camera is on your ass. Still magnificent, in spite of their age. I wonder how long it's been since they were activated. I'm surprised this is still working. That's it for the engine. Now I should open those large doors. Others. Wait. I'm not sure if I go. Ah, oh, no, never mind. Three working now. One more to go. Looks like spare parts for automatons. Yeah, also it will be somewhere in here. I am James, I didn't miss anything. Right? Or am I missing something? Should move it back, so no, no one will notice, but okay. Must I remind you that we are here illegally, Kate Walker? The employee will be very soon.
I think some of the automatons on the square need repairing. Yes, indeed, Kate Walker. We didn't look at the second tuning box located near the kiosk. That brand was everywhere in New York when I left. And now they've even got branches here. Look, Angel, just for you, I requested <coughs> question him to the end. Excuse me. Hello. Now what? Why is the academy going to close? For the simple reason that we have no students. No students, no lessons. No lessons, no academy. And why are there no students? <laughs> That's not a stupid question. Because the mayor has taken away our grant that enabled our institution to become famous the world over. Why would he do that? Oh, budget restrictions, apparently. So, no staff, no students. No students, no lessons. I get it. But, between you and me and this counter, I'd say that's all just a pretext to get us out of the building. And why would anyone want to do that? To make others rich, of course. Property developers who are going to slice our institution up into shops. I just do think I should grab a beer when the music we start to play. Just like they've done with all the other buildings around the musical square. There's just one problem. Even if I do manage to fix all the different parts of the mechanical orchestra, I still have to play the piano properly, and I haven't played piano since I left junior high. My mom bought me one when I was a kid, but it really wasn't my strong suit. There's no need to worry. You don't need to be a virtuoso to activate the mechanism. The mechanical orchestra will come out if you play all the notes in the right order, regardless of the rhythm. You just need to know the basics of music reading. I don't know. I'd better get going then. Quite. Uh, good luck with the mechanisms, Fraulein. I am drunk, so I don't want me uh, make me drunk. I think this is the last one. That's right, Kate Walker. You have to go back. I like this jingle when we are when we have done something right. All the mechanisms on the square are working. I just need to deal with the piano. It looks like this wheel is designed to activate the piano's engine thanks to the dynamo effect, Kate Walker. Dynamo? Then I guess I'm gonna have oh, to put my thinking cap on again. Okay, the sheet music is in place. So we guys have opened. I'm not sure what. I can't play. The engine is off. I'll hide thing, Peter. All the mechanisms on the square are working. I just need to deal with the piano now. I just what else have opened. Oh, wait.
That doesn't work. Keys? Hmm. Poor little thing. There is no need to get sentimental, Kate Walker. The automaton was made for a specific purpose. It has no notion of sentiment. Indeed, I would go as far to say that it was a basic monofunctional automaton. Unlike some of us more evolved automatons, built to serve several purposes. Broken. <laughs> Must have got it wrong. That doesn't work. Wait, Kate Walker! I am a highly evolved automaton! <laughs> And built to serve several purposes. Off you go now. Like a hamster. I see. You still haven't lost any of your irritating habits, Kate Walker. Look on the bright side, Oscar. Thanks to you, the piano works now. Well, hurry up. And make use of it. But, but he cannot be uh, tired. He's a robot. I like how everyone else is ignoring us. And the police now should come. your pardon the song i just played with the automatons Vaughan's hymn it's exactly the same melody as the one my mom's music box used to play i used to listen to it all the time when i was a kid we never did find out what it was and finding it today represents a major breakthrough because because it means that there must be a link between Vaughan, my mom and probably dana too dana who looks so much like me ah a family connection then I don't know, but it's possible, and you can be sure as hell that I'm going to find out as soon as I've picked up Dana's trail again. Come on, Oscar. Our dear Mahler owes us a file. 
Did I already mention how humiliating I think this is? Oh, you did, Oscar. You did. Maybe she's our grandmother, but don't, don't answer it. Don't answer any terms. I don't want any spoilers. I like to say. Thank you. Thank you. I enjoyed your concert so much. <laughs> now I can retire fulfilled. Glad to have been of service. I believe you have a file for me. Of course, of course. <laughs> Here it is. Dana Rose, just like you asked. Thanks. At last. <laughs> Dana's home address in 1937. A detached house, it seems. Number 20, Broca del Nebel. Hmm. The Bridge of Mists, huh? Found what you were looking for? I think so. Well, thank you. And goodbye. No, thank you, Fraulein. Twenty Bridge of Mists. Dana's address in the thirties. Hi, James. Are you gonna buy a jacket like that because of this game? Okay, just take a look. Everyone is wearing less. Warm clothes and that they are fine. Thank you for a follow. Rope works. Well, maybe not everyone, but. <laughs> I also like it. I just have noticed that this tram has uh, a rhyme in the name. Wagen Baren, something on the side. I say, this is a very unpleasant way of traveling, Kate Walker. I know, Oscar. I promise I'll let you out as soon as possible, okay? <laughs> You have never heard of Siberia? Siberia first and two were released like 20 years ago. It's, uh, it's one of the um, more iconic or classic ones, uh, adventure games. Okay, Oscar. 
Now we have to find Dana's old house. Do you recall the number, Kate Walker? The bridge is exactly the same as it was back in the... <laughs> Martin Nelson! <laughs> Except that it's cleaner. It looks almost new, as if it had been renovated. Oh, I guess. How the latest news of bacon, wagon. Ah, I see. Yeah, I, I, I'm fan of fast games. Like Zero Escape, Dangarompa, Ace Attorney. No. Kate Walk. Impossible. What? Whoa! That's one shrill version of the hymn of Wagen. One thing's for sure, this souvenir wasn't made in Wagen. Looks nice though. Chips have on air. A book about Wagen's history during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. And take it. A book about Wagen's history during the war. Maybe it could be useful later. <laughs> okay, so we, it will be needed for some puzzle in a moment, I think. Okay, let, let me <clears throat> let me do a joke. <clears throat> okay, so it's, listen, River. I'm not sure how is it for you, but I cannot solve <clears throat> adventure games while <coughs> being sober. <laughs> it's an inside joke, by the way, on my streams. <laughs> that, that, I, that I cannot pss, do something. <laughs> Looks like the residents on the bridge are pretty mad at the town council. <laughs> uh. So we can <laughs> get used to it. <laughs> There's number 20. Dana's old house. Uh. But before I go in, let's try to make a side quest first. Unless it's needed to be made inside. Hmm. Oh, speaking of alcohol. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Protests in the neighborhood and a big storm coming tonight. I sure wouldn't want to be in the mayor's shoes right now. Anyway, I'd better focus back on Dana. Hmm. I wonder if those are just random names or maybe there are some patrons or something. Maybe real names. I mean, like Serusi uh, from, from those times. 1940. Around that age. Uh, yeah, I mean. Guten Tag, Fraulein. I 
and this music. On holiday in the region, Fräulein? Just passing through. Well, welcome to my little gift shop. Frau Heigel at your service. I must say you have a beautiful shop, Frau Heigel. Heigel. Thank you, Fräulein. All our souvenirs are made for excellence, as we like to say here, all by local craftsmen. Were you looking for something in particular? Mm. Well, I'm actually looking for someone, not something. Someone who used to live in this house, and I was wondering if you could help. Well, there were quite a few owners before I bought the shop last autumn, so I can't really... So her name was Dana Rose. She lived here before the war. I was hoping to find some kind of mm. trace of her here, so I could continue my search. Hi, James, but most of them sounded like German. The roses, but I can't say if there's anything left of them inside the house. Like Kruger. <laughs> Don't you live here? No. My husband and I live in the suburbs. You see, the bridge was... Or Jagger. Throw <laughs> Attack on Titan. I'm not kidding. The oh, truly there awesome. is a Jagger surname. And then the neighborhood was bombed. Just after the war, during the liberation. And many of the houses were damaged, including this one. They were hastily renovated after the war, but they remain mostly derelict. By the way, I hope that for the most of the time you can understand me, because as you can hear, English isn't really my, my language, <laughs> but I'm trying my best. Well, it doesn't look like the house the was same goes for an accent. from what I can see. Your shop is charming and... So is the rest of the district. Thank you. That's because after the initial renovation, the council financed major rehabilitation work on the facades. But if the truth be told, they left the proprietors to foot the bill for our interiors. That's why my husband and I had to spend all our savings so that the shop interior shows the same high standard that we demand of our suppliers. That's a shame. Yes. And if the council persists in refusing to help fund the renovation works, there won't be any residents left on the bridge, let alone independent quality stores like mine. There'll be nothing left but bland franchise stores, like the one further along the bridge or on the musical square. You mentioned a pogrom against this neighborhood's vagrant community. Can you tell me more? Pogrom. Like in Polish. As much as anyone who knows anything about Wagen, I guess. It happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. A few months after Austria and Ostertal were annexed by the Brown Shadow. What happened? Well, the Brown Shadow organized riots against Wagerans on false pretexts. It led to pogroms throughout all the annexed countries, including this house. Were the roses home when it all happened? Like I said, Fräulein, I don't know, but I hope not. So between the it would be funny if that gear behind us would spy on us. Being renovated, <laughs> there's little chance of me finding any trace of the roses. It's not quite like that. To be honest, we didn't have the funds to renovate the rest of the house, so we used the upper floors for storing. Really? And now that you mention it, I do recall coming across old photographs from before the war, here and there in the house. The successive owners didn't want to throw them out, and I suppose they must have left them there. Would you mind if I went upstairs to take a look? Unless you would kindly bring the photos down yourself. Well, I can hardly leave the shop unattended while I go... I don't even know you, Fräulein. I see. In that case, would you mind if I had a look upstairs myself? Don't take it personally, Fräulein, but I don't know you enough to trust you. I'm very sorry. Now, if you excuse me, Fräulein, I have a customer. You are a customer as well. <laughs> I conjecture that you were inefficient in trying to persuade the shopkeeper, Kate Walker. How are you going to access the upper floors now? I don't know, Oscar. 
By getting creative, I guess. I conclude I can trust you on that score, Kate Walker. Made in Vagen. Looks nice. More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think. It's right in Frau Heigl's line of vision, too. I'm gonna have to draw her away if I want to sneak through that service door to the upper floors. Hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll make a domino epic. Wrong one. Never mind. <laughs> it's a good thing I bought it. Awful noise. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> oh, there it is. How awful. That certainly doesn't belong in my shop. We don't sell such cheap and tacky items. I wanted to comment how it was looking like the twelve of ours. Great. Mm. I don't think Frau Heigl's noticed a thing. Why don't you try to locate Dana Rose's room, Kate Walker? Then you can look for more clues about her. Good idea. Let's just hope Frau Heigl won't come up. Mal. This photo shows the house partially destroyed. Must have been taken after the bombing that preceded the liberation of Wagen. Yeah, exactly, Robert, exactly. He was looking so natural. <laughs> <laughs> but it was kind of fun. This is where Frau Heigl must take her breaks. In remembrance of the eternal bond between the Roses and the Zimmers. Signed, Adam Z. Okay. It's dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. More stock for the shop. Yeah, I think Dana will have her room upstairs. I could them. I really love this main demo song. I mean. Is the other one, but most of the songs have the same melody. Nothing of interest in here. Then why can't I take a look? <laughs> a double bed, plenty of space. Must have been Dana's parents' bedroom. So where's Dana's room then? The number of rooms don't add up. Hmm. But let's keep in mind that a lot of people were living here. Just what I needed. Just what I needed.
a family portrait. That must be Dana with her parents. Oh, by the way, so you understand the story, Fever. We are trying to find out uh, a girl named Dana, which literally looks like us. And you are in her quote home now. It's been bricked up. Most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. There was a photo on top of these shelves on the first floor. It might give you a clue as to the whereabouts of Dana Rose's room. I guess it's behind some wall. But why? <laughs> oh wait, I just need to take a look at it from... Okay, okay. Huh. The bedroom in the background of the portrait must be located in the attic. According to the light and the clock behind Dana, her room must face north. That's it, Oscar. I think I know where Dana's room is. Enlighten me, Kate Walker. <laughs> well, one of the photos shows a bedroom that's not on the second floor, right? Right. And we know that the staircase was bricked up during the renovation, and so we are gonna go floor. by the go uh, coming. So that's got to be where we'll find Dana's missing bedroom. It seems plausible, indeed. It does. And if we're lucky, the room might be pretty much like Dana left it all those years ago. And potentially with clues to put us back on her track. I've just got to find a way to get to that third floor bedroom. Seeing as you failed to create a positive bond with Frau Hegel, the next rational step would be to take a look outside the building, Kate Walker. You're right, Oscar. Let's go and see. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll be able to check out the... Uh, how is it called? This history book. The street. Esper. I'm James. <laughs> Just being an Esper. But seriously, it was somehow obvious. She will notice slash question us. Where were we? I hope you won't hold it against me. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't make any sense, uh, but true. Uh. So we need an elevator or something like that. Or a trash can. Oscar, I need your opinion on this. Unless I will throw Oscar in there. <laughs> ah, that's better. Looks like that fire escape staircase serves every floor of the house. That is correct, Kate Walker. Perhaps you should find a way to use it. Better try something else. So what do you think, Oscar? I think I would have liked a body with longer front legs. I was talking about the window up there. Must be Dana's room, right? Oh, of course. There is a high probability that you are not wrong, Kate Walker. I feel, I feel like Oscar is only agreeing with us all the time. Without his own opinion. Looks like the staircase serves every floor, including Dana's. 
I conjecture that you are probably right, Kate Walker. Told ya. <laughs> Well, we can't get to the staircase from the first floor windows. You're not. The second floor <laughs> you see it was in the house instead of that. Indeed, Kate Walker, all the windows you could have used are obstructed. The ladder to the first floor is up. It's too high for me to pull down. These stairs might help us reach Dana's room. You're well, bound to find a way. I'm not really sure what Dana you're ever looking for. Looks like there's a mechanism up there to lower the ladder. Do we have an X ray? <sighs> that drain pipe leads to a ledge that leads to the staircase. Which leads to the upper floor. Which leads us According to the to Thanos room. Which leads. <laughs> the drain pipe will not hold you, Kate Walker. And even if you were lighter, the ledge is too narrow for you. Oscar, to we go. Hey, are you trying to tell me something, Oscar? <laughs> yes, you are too heavy and too wide, Kate Walker. For the ledge. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Oscar. <laughs> It's not going to be easy to use the staircase to get to the room. <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> that is not nice. From inside the first and second floors, and the third floor stairwell is. Hey, James, would you re react the same? Staircase is the only possibility, Kate Walker. But you cannot climb up the drain pipe because of your weight and size. I heard you the first time, thanks. You are welcome, Kate Walker. So the only way up is by the fire escape staircase. And that means lowering the ladder from the first floor. I would, I would do it. Well, I don't have a choice. I'll just have to make myself thin and climb up the drain pipe. An unwise choice, Kate Walker, if you don't mind me saying so. It is highly probable that the drain pipe will not hold your weight, and no matter how thin you make yourself, even if it did, the ledge is too narrow for you to reach the staircase. Well, in that case, there's only one solution. As you're so light and slim, Oscar, you'll have to climb up the drain pipe and walk across the ledge for me. Then you just need to activate the mechanism to lower the steps so that heavy me can take the staircase. Heavy me. I was not made to climb up drain pipes, Kate Walker. I am a precision made automaton. Come on, Oscar. You saved the day more than once. I just why. It must be second nature by now. But how can I lower myself to scurrying like a a rat? Because you're a fine fellow and my faithful friend? <sighs> what the music? Kate Walker, help! I believe I'm stuck here! You can somehow switch between Kate and Oscar. Stay calm, Oscar! I'm coming! I will kick him in the ass.
Look at genius. Climbing like a common squirrel. This is a disgrace. Everything okay up there? Yes, Kate Walker. I just need to. Ah! Hang on tight, Oscar. Oh, I am Kate Walker. Believe me, I am. You gotta jump now, Oscar. Hurry! Well done, Oscar. Glad that you're safe and sound. I guess that's one way of putting it, Kate Walker. I'm also glad you haven't lost your positive attitude. Oh, that useless body. Now I must find another way. <laughs> okay, I like this segment. And climbing up all over again. Be careful there, Oscar. I think he was supposed to tell us that Oscar still likes trains. Oh no! That can't be good. Or feels an enemy. Now, Miss Pigeon. Madam Pigeon, then. I beg your pardon. Now, Madam Pigeon, would you be so kind as to make way? <sighs> I guess I'm going to need help here. Kate Walker. I. Oh, how am I, I supposed to get rid of that pigeon? Cow versus pigeon. He's not a cow, though. I can't throw it at the pigeon, but maybe I can use it some other way. Huh. Made our point, I guess. Another, another boss should be on the lower floor. Now, maybe this body will be useful in the end. We don't have a keto, I think. Wait, what? Where did it come from? And of course, no one says anything. No one. Must have got it wrong. Kate Walker, if I were meant to be used as a cannonball, I would have been given a fuse. Find the hall. This is highly irregular. Tuck your head in, Oscar. One. If Hans Borrelberg could see me now, two, how? three. <laughs> Undignified. Oh my. Oh my. Really. Is this any way to treat an intelligent automaton? Yeah, I just had to remember. Really, if Mr. Vorlberg could see me now... He would say, you've saved the day again, Oscar. You've exceeded all expectations by far. Okay. Okay. Let's try and find out what became of Dana after she left the refuge. A part's missing. You don't have more than I thought to write my safe reminders. No doubt about it. This must have been Dana's room. It sounded like a sentence from Dangarompa. No doubt. No doubt. No doubt. <laughs> okay. It's from the Music Academy. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. Maybe it's her uh, signature? There's something underneath. Can't reach it. 
can't be that heavy. Before peaks though. That's better. I, now that I think about it, Junta had more influence on me than I thought. I now write myself reminders that she could suggest. Okay. The room was ransacked and pillaged during a pogrom of the brown shadow, I guess. God, I hope Tana was away that day. Also, this game has working mirrors. Surprise, surprise. Okay, so it was like... Uh, I don't really see the second one, but... Uh, beard, dot, with moon. <laughs> ah, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. Mm -hmm. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. Mm. So it it, it kind of looks like a B letter. Maybe this one? Oh, I could swear I found the right combination. What else could I set on the wheels in addition to the symbols? It's blocking it. Now's not the right time to leave. I don't think there's anything else to take here, Oscar. The chest near the bed still seems to be intact. You might find something belonging to Dana Rose. It much train. <laughs> I know. Hmm. Music symbols, but they don't seem related to the diploma. Oh, come on. I'm sure it must be the right combination of symbols. Oh, I must have missed something. Uh, maybe the symbols aren't the only thing I need to set on each wheel. The note. <laughs> Wait, I mean. Has to be those larger ones. It won't open, and yet I'm 
pretty sure the combination of symbols is right. There must be something else to set with the wheels. Un peu Africa Brut. J'entends parfaitement une présence de mid and fort and out. Hmm. And what about I can see this yellow part, but but what about it? Oh wait. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I wonder why. I don't think there's anything else to take here, Oscar. The chest near the bed still seems... It's blocking it. Oh, come on. I'm sure it must be the right combination of symbols. Oh, I must have missed something. Maybe Wait. Okay. Never mind. I need to set on each wheel. I think I got it. The wheels on the lock seem to have different... Oh, I could swear I found the right combination. What else could I set on the wheels in addition to the symbols? The wheels on the lock seem to have different heights. I need to wheel here. But... The wheels on the lock seem to have different... Oh, come on. I'm sure it must be the right combination of symbols. Oh, I must have missed something. Uh, maybe the symbols aren't the only thing I need to set on each wheel. It won't open. And yet I'm pretty oh. sure the combination of symbols is right. There must be something else to set... With the wheels. Oh, I could swear I found the right combination. What else could I set on the wheels in addition to the symbols? Oh, come on. I'm sure it must be the right combination of symbols. Oh, I must have missed something. Uh, maybe the symbols aren't the only thing I need to set on each wheel. I know what I have to do, but I don't know how to do it. Uh... It won't open, and yet I'm pretty sure the combination of symbols is right. There must be something else to set with the wheels. Uh, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. Uh, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. <sighs> uh, 
Uh, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. Uh, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. I think I would really be with her sentence. Uh, it won't open. I'm pretty sure I've collected all the clues I could in the room, though. I should take a look at the documents and items in my diary. This one should be hidden. There should be one. And this one have to be hidden as well. To be honest, guys, I, I think I will take a look in solution inside. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, guys, just give me just a second. I, I want to change this the scene. <laughs> Okay, so listen guys, after a puzzle like that, I cannot continue this game while being sober. Like seriously, I, I, I'm not even sure what I did. Oh. It's blocking it. What is blocking? Things stuck. It's blocking it. At what? Oh, never mind. I recognize this chest, uh, chest like that, because uh, they were also in hotel to. 115 room. Yeah, game is called like that. I think we are gonna go in the past once again. Maybe. And by the way, what? Uh, you went on mentioned the sto uh, some storm earlier. What was it about? This was written not long after her time at the refuge. A letter from Leon. So he did write back to Dana after the expedition left Kantar, the capital of Valtayar. The High Plateau of Valtayar, October 25th, 1937. My, My darling, darling Edelweiss. Edelweiss. I hate myself for not sending you news more often, and for not being able to receive news of you. I find myself now, where probably no other modern day human has ever ventured before. I regret to inform you, 
that I won't be able to go back to Europe with my fellow survivors. Pataya. For me, it's Belia from Gothic. <laughs> Pataya. Belia. Belia Mountains. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. Pataya. Something bad happened during the expedition. I, no doubt, am partly to blame. Nevertheless, I would like you to know my version of the events. After hard days of hiking, we set up our base camp on the threshold of a high valley where rhododendrons grew. Rhodo what? All the witnesses seemed to concur. This was where the Gorun, the famous man of the mountains, was most frequently sighted. Kinda has many Japanese lives, wipes. We explored without success every valley and mountain surrounding the camp. Autumn was approaching, the rivers started to freeze at the edges, and the prospect of having to head back with nothing for our toil was becoming more and more apparent. The joyful banter of the first weeks was no more. The men were becoming moody and tense. Especially our chief, Reinhard Berger. Berger. Ham Berger. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hamburger. Of course, it's a joke. Burger, burger. Hamburger. I am burger. Hamburger. <laughs> oh my god, I know it's just so stupid, but. Oh god. Oh yeah, by the way, River, you say that the game looks pretty nice. But to be honest, I'm using reshade application, which change a few stuff. So it doesn't look so plain. It's how the original game looks like. See the difference? Up we get, Leon. Another day on a wild goose chase. Oh, better nice better. It up before going out. Just take a look at the sto stones um, outside for the fire. I mean, <laughs> everything, everything just looks better with free shade. Even the ground is more HD. These biscuits don't compare with all Gustav's cooking, but at least they fill you up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and alcohol, of course. Or not, because it's empty. Must remember to fill it up before I leave the camp. You have alcohol. <laughs> I ought to bring all the equipment together before I take my bag. Okay, see. Oh, wait. I could change the <clears throat> camera. No chance of me venturing into the mountain without that. Hope I can get back to sketching the valley, but with Berger putting on the pressure, the come Berger. The letters I got from Dana before leaving Kantar with the expedition. It's. T I'm so glad Junta lent it to me. I was able to take wonderful pictures behind Berger's back. Go. Oh. The craft that you can fool the world. <laughs> oh wait, I can read it. Expeditions. Before, mm -hmm. get some at the refuge. If only my hand could write what holds my head. Baltire. Hmm. 
Hmm. Horst has already left. The scolding that Berger gave them yesterday about their lack of results in tracking down the Gorons really got to him. And once again, working mirror. Uh. Items, it's not a problem. All those books. Only horse could cut about works of anthropology beyond the frontiers of the known world. I should take my gear before going out. Goethe's Faust, one of Junta's posh friends, Murnau, if I remember rightly, turned it into a film about ten years ago. I think the poor chap's dead now, though. <laughs> Sauer's thesis. From what I understand, he accepted to work for the Brown Shadow because they were the only ones who would finance his research. I think we've got everything now. Uh, by the way, I'm just, can you tell me what was it about, about this puzzle earlier? You know what time it is. Time to be heading out? Enough! You couldn't care less whether we find the Gorons or not, could you? Well, mark my words, Copatis. You'd better change your bloody attitude. You know full well Huss and the Brown Shadow forced me into this. And besides, my mission was to guide you and the rest of the expedition here, not to get involved in your harebrained research. I couldn't give a damn. Everyone has already started except you. So you just get your butt upstream and help Sauer carry out his research. The idiot is capable of getting himself lost again. This guy's looking like, like he's pretending to be Indiana Jones with this hat. And if I refuse, what are you going to do about it? Is the bookworm about to turn nasty, huh? Rest assured, Cobatis, I have no desire for an idiotic fist fight. If you prefer drawing silly romantic sketches instead of helping poor Sauer, who's probably already lost, that's up to you. But for me, I intend to refer the matter to Herr Hurst. And then we'll see what the brown shadow does with your little waitress friend. You watch it, Burger. Come, Burger. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but what about the uh, the um, those icons like music? Poor animal. Beard and other of his mind points. with this search for the abominable snowman of his. Hmm, no one here. Bauer and Iega must have already taken off in search of the Gorun. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few evenings. Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. So do I have to open it? Can I do it? Nine gems? Or not? Bad idea. With this, I'll be able to venture out for as long as it takes to find Sauer. I understand. Why were we light? Not what you'd call cute, this Gorun. Just as well they haven't found it yet. Bauer's daughter. This medal must belong to Bauer. He must have left it behind when he turned in for the night. Can't have been easy for Bauer to leave his daughter just after she was born.
Go and find Sour. The mountain's dangerous and we're prepared for the worst. I only hope we don't have to use it. I asked you to go up the river and find Sour. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few weeks. Like how? Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. Do they have any numbers? Wait. Maybe that note. I don't say outside had something. Never mind. Oh! This, this year, right? Let's see, it was about uh, a day and month. I can see, I know. Genius. All ship shape. Typical Bauer. Bauer, are you little. Dear Heckles, I completely understand that the Brown Shadow Angel should the expedition fail. The being said, I urge you not to hold it against her barrier on my field of scientists. If Brainder is to be, then look rather to Leon Kobatis. His lack of goodwill has become increasingly apparent. Prodo? Prodo? In that, it will come as no surprise to me if his intention was to sabotage the whole expedition right from the very outset. Outset? All ship shape, typical Bauer. Wait, and I didn't complete. Jaeger and Bauer have been a bit heavy-handed with the alcohol these past few. So what else do I need to check? Morale of the troops is at an all-time low. There's nothing more to do here, I guess. All no, right. I should leave the camp now. Where on earth can the bloody creature be holed up? I should be able to catch up with Horst by following the road along the river. Well, to be honest, I thought that we are gonna only play as Kate and Dana. And suddenly we have... we had Dana's friend and now her boyfriend. Uh, better get going. Yeah, talk to yourself. Like everyone in this game. Autumn is here. We'd better leave the mountain soon, or we won't survive. He's what? <clears throat> to be honest, he's uh, working high machines kind of weird. I mean, like he he'd go to the toilet. <laughs> Anyone there? Looks like someone's left their gear over there. Let's right. check it out. Hmm. Stopping to read in the middle of the wilds. That's sour all over. One of us must have stayed here. For a rest, maybe? Whoever it belongs to must have left in a hurry to have left it behind. Maybe they were attacked? One of the scientists must have stopped for a rest here. Most probably sour. 
But what made him leave in such a hurry that he left behind all his gear? What on earth? I I don't. A hand. That mark must be what caused Sour to stop and rest for a while. I'd better head out and try to find him to clarify the situation. What in? Going there for his death, I think he wanted to say. I was taking a break near the path. Hurry, we must go fetch the others. You go, he looks injured. I'd better stay and try and reach him before the current carries him away. Right, Leon. Okay. But don't lose him. Leon S. Kennedy. All right, little fella. Don't move. I'm coming to get you. So you did sell mini game, Kappa? Current's too strong to swim across. Better find another way. To be honest, I think that someone maybe just uh... all sorts of debris has been carried by the Who's river. playing? Ask him. But other than trying to build a raft, I don't know what use it can be. Current's too strong to swim across. Better find another way. We had an axe some way back. So why we are losing the machine? Who said? And we're attacking the other way. It doesn't make any sense. What is going on? Easy, Leon. Now's not the time to get a dunking. <laughs> Take it easy. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to look at your wound. Um, what can I give him to show I mean no ill? Water? Eh, yeah, water? Thirsty little fellow? I thought we always work. There you go. Good boy. It's all right. Don't be afraid. You're all right, fella. I just do you mean the newest one? You got a word? Good boy. Eat up, fella.
One year later. It's good, isn't it? Leg broken. I just want to look at it, all right? Look, little fella. If you let me see your wound, you can have another biscuit later, yes? It's broken, all right. It must be very painful. You're a brave boy. If I could clean the wound and brace your leg, we should be able to get you back to camp and make it better. Hold on. I'll be right back. Just be patient, little fella. I'll be right back. I think someone will shoot him. They're straight enough to help get the Gorun back to camp. They should do fine to hold the Goron splint together. Here we go, fella. This is going to sting a little. Wasn't so bad, was it? I just look a bondage. Now we just need to find a way to get you back across. Did you do that, little fella? Well, <laughs> better drawing than talking, huh? Now we just have to wait for the others. We're supposed to give him uh, this food. Huh? Oh, oh exactly, like biscuit. It's good. Want another biscuit? Oh, no, what biscuit? I said it. Preparing for the first time. It was a young specimen, my darling Dana. Almost like a child. And as soon as we made eye contact, I knew this was a creature endowed with reason. He trusts us. <laughs> he trusts us if he was able to sleep.
when my companions joined me, I immediately sensed we did not share the same point of view. They seemed blinded by the discovery. They couldn't see the individual. It was clear the young Goran wasn't a person in their eyes, just a subject for study. In their excitement, they seemed to lose all common sense. What is wrong with it? Fruit! Have some fruit! You just shut him up in a cage. What do you expect? He's frightened. Shut it up, or I'm going to gag it. Bondage. What's that? You think it's this pink parent? Or the whole family? <laughs> Oh shit. Must be the Gorn's mother. If we give it back, she'll probably leave. And deprive us of an adult specimen, you bad. All right, Mama. Look at the size of her burger. Wound her, and we'll never get her back alive. Who said we needed her alive? They can't all be live specimens, can they? No! Good. But I couldn't let you shoot them. Wait, what? Is he dead? Reinhardt? You alright? What? You just punched! Are you kidding me? But he... He's killed Berger! Bauer! Wait! Y you saw! What? He was going to kill the Gorin, sir. So I, I... I had no intention to... Shut it, assassin! The hell? I just what do you think about this scene? It's a bondage on the guy after all. I'll bring him some soup. 
We can't let him starve to death. Bastard doesn't deserve food. Typical horse, eh? Always the good Samaritan. Aren't you afraid I was going to run for it? They intend to hand you over to the authorities in Kantar for the murder of Reinhard Berger. Kamburka. Doesn't surprise me. I came across a letter from Bauer. My great. So you like to take a look at murdered guys? Well, that's not how it's going to be. I don't agree with what you did. But you don't deserve what Bauer and Jaeger intend for you. You must pretend to be tied up. Wait for them to fall asleep. Then take your gear and get as far away from here as possible. Hear me? Yes, but what? I just sign up. So there you have the full story, my darling Dana. I don't know what will become of me, where my escape will lead me over the coming weeks, or what my life of a murderer on the run will be like. No it's Dana, right? Always remember that my love for you is as strong as ever, and that my greatest desire is to hold you in my arms. I love you more than anything in the world. Leon, your alpine lover. Dana! Oh my goodness! Dana! What's wrong, Poppet? Lena, come quick! Turn out his story once again. Dear Diary, so much has happened since I received Leon's letter a few days ago. I'm slowly recovering. Today, Papa and Mama told me that I was going to leave for a while. I'll explain what's going on, but I don't know where to begin. I need to gather my thoughts as I finish packing my suitcase. But I think I think we will end this <coughs> stream. So what? Wait, what? Oh, what? Oh, I see. That's why she passed out. I mean, because of the letter, but I think she's also pregnant. The medication to treat my cough. Mama is forcing me to take it again since I collapsed after getting Leon's letter. I should pack it. I need to finish packing my suitcase before we say goodbye, dear diary. I was planning to give up all my old toys and dolls. But now I guess I'm going to need them in a few years. Oh my god. <clears throat> anyway, so as I was saying, I think we end this sentence. I mean the whole day from Kate's perspective and and the stream. Poor Papa and Mama. They were devastated when the doctor they called after I collapsed discovered my secret. That secret I dared not speak about to anyone. Not even you, dear diary. Now I can tell you. 
I'm pregnant, dear diary. Leon is the father. There were a lot of tears and screams when the doctor told Papa and Mama. But they finally decided to pretend that the baby will be the foster child of a missing relative. I know everyone expects me to feel guilty, but I can't help thinking of names. If it's a boy, of course it'll be Leon. To bring his father good luck. And if it's a girl, I think I'll call her Anna. And how is our mother called? Papa looks ten years older since he learned of my pregnancy. But what seems to have affected him the most was to ask Herr Zimmer for help. Mama says Leon is nothing but an unscrupulous adventurer who took advantage of an innocent girl. But I know it's not true. I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. I'm not sure why the area we're sat. Safe than risking to lose where I'm going. No need to go in the bathroom. I've already packed my toiletries and I won't feel sick again until tomorrow morning. I'm almost done here. I just need to add my medicine and the brochure Herr Zimmer gave Papa and Mama. Junta inspired me, I guess. <laughs> It's late. I shouldn't roam about in the house. By the way, it's a good thing that we have collapsed on our back, not our on our, our, our front, because the child could be have some problem uh, could have some problems or be killed papa and mama have locked me up in here since they discovered my condition i'm going to miss playing the piano while i'm away let alone going to the academy i left the brochure on the little table near the piano As I said, dear diary, I'm leaving tomorrow. Papa and Mama are sending me to a sanatorium out of town for a few months. They say it's for continuing my convalescence. In other words, to send me and my secret away from prying eyes. My parents have accepted the offer from their longtime friends, the Zimmers, to pay for my hospitalization at the sanatorium. The Zimmers said it was in the name of their long friendship with Papa and Mama. But I think they feel bad that they can afford to flee Wagen in the Brown Shadow, whereas Mama and Papa can't. I'm I don't care. I like how her parents still are wearing on the outfit. The ideal summer and winter resort in the most picturesque and enchanting spot looking over the River Dombra. Well, let's hope that's true. Come on, Dana. There were enough tears already. Yeah, I'm crying. I need to finish packing my suitcase before we say goodbye, dear diary. I can't believe Leon is on the run, all alone in those mountains in the middle of winter. Mm.
that scientist I met at the refuge, Horst Zawa. He brought me the letter after his return from Baltayar. From Baltayar. <laughs> I'll put you away in there as soon as I'm done, dear diary. Better to keep you safe than risking to lose you where I'm going. I'll take all those souvenirs with me. I just need to find space for them in my suitcase. Well, that should be it. All I need to do now is to conclude my diary entry and hide it somewhere safe with Leon's letter. Right, so Kate can read it later. Now you know everything, dear diary. It is now, I guess, the time to say goodbye for a while. I can hope now is that Leon will survive winter in those faraway mountains and that he will find a way to come Now there will be a zoom to the we will mirror and me. the change of the time, I think. Never mind. I'm Esper. Don't ask me how I knew. Me and the baby? Do you still think there might be a family connection between you, Kate Walker? I think we are her grandchildren. Well, all I know is that my family on my mother's side came from Europe. But like a lot of New Yorkers, right? I don't know from where exactly, but... And then there's the music box my mother left me, which it turns out plays the Wagen anthem. I mean, it all seems so... so magical. Almost like destinies at play. Or a coincidence, Kate Walker. The law of coincidences states that the more an individual is liable to believe in coincidences, the more coincidences happen to them. But then there's the fact, the fact, Oscar, that everyone keeps telling me Dana and I look so much alike. What do you plan on doing now, Kate Walker? According to the diary, Dana left for a sanatorium outside of town. The records might tell what became of her and her baby. But before we go... There's something that's been bothering me. What is it, Kate Walker? The pogrom that Frau Heigl told us about, the one during which the house and the neighborhood were ransacked, happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. Dana said that she was leaving for the sanatorium for a few months at the end of 1937. Indeed, Kate Walker. So it is very likely she was safe and sound over there when the pogrom occurred. Yes. But what if, what if she was home with her baby? I need to be sure before we leave for the sanitarium, Oscar. We need to search the neighborhood for more evidence. All right, Kate Walker. Where you lead, I will follow. As long as you don't forget your bag. Trust me, Oscar. You're the only friend I've got right now. I ain't losing you.
Sorry, sorry. I thought that they will attack anything longer, so I went BRB. What pogroms? Ah, storybook, okay, I know. Oh, nice skip. I'm going down. I told ya that this book will be needed later. According to that book, the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1938. That's a good clue, I guess. But I need to find more. I think the, that this uh, statue by the river had something about it. Yoga? I can't find Dana here. Vogt? Vice? Dana isn't mentioned here. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How could I clean it? Better try something else. No, I don't think so. No, Kate, well, that doesn't work. Hmm. Really? How is it possible? Harry told me that I didn't miss anything. Threats, riddled with misspellings and signed, Frank Hoss, that member of the Brown Shadow who had it in for Leon at the refuge. Looks like he never forgave them. And was after Dana during the pogrom. Indeed, Kate Walker. But the very existence of this message could mean she wasn't home when those tragic events occurred. Come on, Oscar. We need to find more clues. So, according to that letter, Dana was supposed to stay at the sanatorium until December 1938. Looks like there were medical complications. We're getting close, but it's not enough to draw conclusions yet. Dana's initials. We were on the other side of this wall earlier, Kate Walker. It's like we've gone through a looking glass. Did mm. everything kind of gems? The room was ransacked and pillaged during a pogrom of the brown shadow, I guess. God, I hope Dana was away that day. And now we are gonna say no. Go back. Is Dana Rose also mentioned? 
It doesn't look like it, no. But I need to be sure. I think that's it, Oscar. We know that the pogrom occurred at the beginning of November 1930. Oscar should down. His parents, Anton and Lena, were killed. That's certain. But Dana was supposed to be at the sanatorium back then. Which seems to be confirmed by that message Herr Hoss left in the house, Kate Walker. Exactly. So I guess we're done here, Oscar. Let's take the tram back to the guest house. We'll try to find that sanitarium first thing tomorrow. And we'll speak on our stream from this game, of course. Yeah, somehow those days are uh, taking between one to uh, from two to three hours. So it's a fitting time for a stream. I must return to the guest house now, Oscar. Thanks to the tramway, we can. Mm. So, there she is, the famous Kate Walker. Nani? Sorry, what? Donna Rose. I knew her very well, you know, our Donna darling. Waiting for the tram, aren't you? Well, we'd be better off speaking at the guest house. I hear there's a storm coming. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Miss Walker. Colonel Blake. Colonel Blake or Fräulein Junta? <laughs> Connecting the dots, are we? You're a very clever young woman. But you must be eager to know why I'm here in front of you, bearing the surname of one of Her Majesty's military officers. <laughs> but here's our tram. Would you be so kind? Miss Walker, you've been rather quiet. I would have thought you'd have some questions for me. No? Nice nature, by the way. I read that you used your prestige as an artist to spy on the brown shadows of the UK before and during the war. So, what is your real name then? Junta Steinhoff? Or Colonel Blake? Janice Blake is my name, Miss Walker. It's not the sort of name the Brown Shadow would have trusted, I'm sure you'll agree. So I took my mother's maiden name as an alias. Both my parents were diplomats from Austria, you see. So you were some kind of double agent? You make it sound more romantic than it really was, miss. But yes, I guess one could say so. You mentioned the guest house. Are you that other guest I heard about? Indeed, Miss Walker. It's actually Frau Wagner who told Who's me about Wagner? it. When she told me that you were looking for Dana, I knew I had to talk to you. Frau Wagner told me to call the Academy, which I did, and the Rector then redirected me towards the Bridge of Mists. And that's how I ended up wandering up and down it, asking about a mysterious American woman with a painting. 
I guess you have new information about Dana for me? I might very well indeed, Miss Walker, but what if you told me first what that little investigation of yours has dug up about Dana? I discovered today that Dana became pregnant that summer of 37. Leon was the father. So her parents decided to hide her in a sanatorium outside town. Which, I assume, saved her from the night of the brown shadow pogroms in Wagen. You assume right, but her parents, on the other hand... I know. Yes, I heard they didn't make it. Poor bastards, if you'll pardon my French. French? I know Dana was very concerned. Yeah, I thought Sarin Chance, but on the run. <laughs> I'm not good with her very surnames <laughs> and even names. I, I can't blame her. I can hardly remember someone, but when I do, I remember them for the most of my life. Strange country. How could he? That's exactly the right question, Miss Walker. That origin expedition in Baltaya. What a mess that was. So, that's basically all I know. Can you tell me what happened to Dana after she left for the sanatorium to have her baby? I must confess, Miss Walker, that I was afraid you might overlook some of the painful information here, which is clearly the case. What do you mean? I... look. I think it would be best if we stay in this carriage until the very end. I know it is an odd request to make, but you really must see this for yourself. Well, I... Until then, I recommend you look outside the window. I guarantee it'll be worth your while. I think he's a trap. Fagin Baden. <laughs> Fagin Baden. Well, you can't swim? Baden Island. She's like a Sonic. I'm sorry, Miss Walker, but chasing you around that bridge was more exhausting than I thought. That's okay. I can wait. Ah, nonsense. I know how eager you are to find out about Dana. So you go first. I'll meet you at section 08. I'll come meet you there. Can't you just tell me what we're doing here? I know it must seem cruel, speaking in riddles and 
keeping up all this mystery like a bloody fortune teller. But I promise, you must see for yourself. Okay then. And don't forget, miss, section 08. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Oof! Cold as hell here! You go first, miss. I'll catch up. We're still silent. How the heck do I get myself into these situations? Are <laughs> you telling me? These ruins, they look like they're from the Middle Ages or something. Yeah, they, they are just lacking Adano's station. There's something sinister about all this. Have no fear, Kate Walker. The sun's setting, and you're all alone in an isolated and derelict place. You are just missing zombies. It is highly improbable that you'll meet anybody, good or bad. Thank you, Oscar, but please do me a favor. Stop trying to reassure me, would you? As you wish, Kate Walker. Oh, section. Okay. No, I understand. Section 08. It's out of the graveyard. This place gives me the creeps. So are we gonna meet Diana? Who? Uh, Dana? Looks like the graveyard. Yes. Oh, jeez. I just what? I'm playing. I say that I will play until the uh, uh, going into. What Look, a crowd! This place, it's. It's a cemetery, Oscar. Well, da. I think Dana's. Oh my god, she must have. Don't jump to hasty conclusions yet, Kate Walker. You should try and find that spot that Colonel Blake mentioned. Okay, so. Section 08. Yes, I... Okay, let's go. I said that, that um, I will end this him at the end of this day in the game. Okay, where are we? Is there anything that requires my assistance? Impossible. I'm gonna need you to be my eyes, Oscar. Excuse me, what? Will do. Just call me whenever you need directions. Can you guide me, Oscar? Hmm. Just leave me a second. Section O. That's the one Kate Walker needs to reach. So it's that easy? Ah, it's blocked. Impossible to get through. I'll have to find a way to go around it. I need help here! Alright, alright. So let's go by the right side. Illegible. Can you tell me where I am? What would she do without me? <laughs> A dead end. I'll have to go back. Obviously. Creepy, why? Kinda reminds me of Resident Evil 6. It's my Terry place. Oh, it's not here. I need directions. I need directions, Oscar! Hmm, let's see. Wait, well, it's not that hard. We blocked here, right? I'm kind of lost here. I do the thinking, she does the walking. Fine by me. Section O. That. A dead end. 
I'll have to go back. Oscar? All right, then. So wait. Oh, so I'm in the right place, then. Here? Well, show me his name. Anna Rose, 1938. Gone to a better place. Anna? Wait, no. her, her children? I mean... Pff. Yeah, I see. Uh, Dana, children, of course. Anna's health had deteriorated at the Santorium. Her coughing fits, the pregnancy, and all the stress about Leon being on the run out there in Baltayar. It was just too much for her to bear. The doctors had to put her to sleep before her delivery. There were complications, and when she woke up... Her parents told her the terrible news. They had already buried the baby girl. How come the Brown Shadow didn't go after Dana? They controlled Ostertal back then, right? Oh, they would have eventually, believe me. And afterwards? Dana became sterile because of the complications during childbirth, so she remained at the sanatorium a few months more. She was devastated, poor darling. That's how she survived the pogroms. Yes, but that didn't mean she was safe. So what happened afterwards? Dana lost everything. Her parents, her baby, Leon. I think she would have just given up if I hadn't been there that day. But I had to go to London. Back then, I used to get invited every year or so to all kinds of artistic events. I could then make out my report to the British Secret Service without arousing the Brown Shadow's suspicion. So I took Dana with me to save her from them. I just, so where are those names then? Oh my god. Dana stayed in London for about six years. I found her a flat and a position with my real employer, the Foreign Office. She had no family, no friends, and in a way, she had no life. She spent every minute she had in the office fighting in her own way against those who took everything from her. She went from one promotion to another, and soon she was among those in charge of coordinating all the resistance fighter groups pertaining to the different occupied countries of Europe. Yeah, she reminds me the character from Velvet Assassin. I know, I, I know the type is hated, but... Focus. The Admiralty needs us to spot the enemy units on the map according to the reports they provided.
Your tank divisions are simply like Belgium. Tower Cherbourg, Zahn. Le Havar. Dover Cherbourg Khan Czerwburg, uh-huh. Czerwburg. I'm James, did you he hear my question or not? If I follow the instructions on the reports correctly, I should be able to place all the units mentioned. And I did. So why, I'm just, so why have you been waiting like 10 minutes to say so? When I just, when I got to the grave, instead of saying it immediately. According to the reports, 
Most of the units are found in the sea areas, along the French coast, and some in Belgium. Oh man, I, I don't know what he's saying. Okay, okay guys, you know what? I think I, I just lose the beat for this puzzle. I'll just check the solution. I mean, I feel like I got most of the things right. Yes, but I'm not sure where I got wrong. Okay, so this will be like, like... Looks like I made a mistake on the map. Where? For fuck's sake. Now? No. You know, the reports speak of 14 units. That's six submarines, four tanks, and four anti-aircraft defenses. All we need to do is to place them correctly according to the information contained in the documents. In all, the reports speak of 14 units. That's six submarines, four tanks, and four anti-aircraft defenses. All we need to do is to place them correctly according to the information contained in the documents. In all, the reports speak of 14 units. That's six submarines, four tanks, and four anti <laughs> What? I should be careful. All terrestrial units can only be on the French North... For fuck's sake, I'm looking at the map and everything is right.
Oh, for fuck's sake. That's it. I guess. Dana, darling, you can use my real name here, you know. Sorry, but I just can't get used to it. For me, you'll always be Ginger Yunta. Charming. I'm sure I have Lenny to thank for that, hmm? You were always too soft on that little brat. Oh, give her a break. What are you doing here? I'm so glad to see you. Only doing my duty, Dana, darling. A gallery invited me for a conference, so I jumped at the occasion to report back to our superiors. But it might be the last time for a while, I'm afraid. Well, it's been very hard to leave the occupied territories, even for a famous so-called pro-brown shadow artist like me. Anyway, how have you been since my last visit? With Leon being missing, and probably lying dead somewhere in Baltea for the past seven years, and what happened to my parents, you know how I feel. But... but it's all beginning to feel like... like a dream, Junta. A distant dream. Especially... her. And I don't want it to... you know... I don't want her, my sweet Anna. To just fade away. I... I'm sorry, Yunta, but could we please change the subject? Of course, darling. What is it? More work for you, actually. Oh? Yes. The Allies need someone for an operation with the Resistance in occupied territory. And they think it should be you. But truth be told, Dana, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Why not? I did volunteer for field operations. They've trained me a lot for that. I know, Dana, but this operation will happen in Ostertal, right next to Vargen, actually. I see. Look, you don't need to answer me this minute. And no one would blame you if you declined the mission. We all know you don't only have happy memories of Vargen. You still have time to think it over. But before you give your final answer, they need you to identify the resistance group that will execute the operation. It's all explained here. And of course it's all top secret stuff. So you must cross-reference the documents right here in this room. You'll have to use that thing over there. But I don't know how to use it. I'm sure that's easy for you. You have such a clever mind, my little virtuoso. I'll see you later. Well, let's get cracking then. Oh my god. From what I can understand of that thing, the pressure must be high in the left tube, but low in the right. <laughs> Yes, you see. The most widely used allied single seat fighter plane. 
I probably owe it my life, like all of us here. The Blitz ended a few years earlier, but now the Brown Shadow is sending us a new death machine. Nice being PNG image behind the window. With snow under, the paperwork is piling up, and problems with it. Could one imagine anything as insane as the whole wide world at war? And for the second time in barely a generation. The United Kingdom seems pretty much on its own as representative of the free world in Western Europe. The Brown Shadow still occupies the whole of Central and Western Europe. The Soviets are on the move. They've reconquered most of their territory. We've reconquered North Africa and half of Southern Italy. And we aren't going to stop there. Silly me. Can't be it. What? Better try something else. That's it for the pneumatic telegraph. Now I should use the machine to receive the list of resistance fighter networks. It's on the table next to the telegraph. I'm not sure what I, I have to do. I was doing it on random. I've been lower, what? Are you kidding me? It's Leon. A coincidence. It must be a coincidence. The network leader's alias. Oh, come here now, my pretty Edelweiss. Don't call me that, you know I don't like it. It's true though. That's exactly where you are, my pretty Edelweiss. I don't see we shall be proud then. Keep that up, Leon Kobatis. I'll find you a nickname too. <laughs> Go on then. All right. Your nickname will be Alpine Lover from now on. Leon! He's alive. He's alive. He's alive! I need to... Oh, good grief. But how did he... Yunta! Yunta! So Leon made it from Baltayar, but how? I have no idea, miss. All I know is that he survived for almost a year in the mountains before coming back to Ostertal, 
to set up the Edelweiss resistance group. Which made Dana accept the mission you told her about back then, right? Of course, she was given extra training and was dropped near Varga in the following summer to carry it out. Hmm. We'd better get going. It looks like the storm is coming. You go first. Uh, uh, I'll meet you at the tram station in a minute. Of course. Take all the time you need. I need your eyes, Oscar. Well, not really. Tiny gems, where is this pink you have mentioned earlier? So, bye again. I know, Oscar. I know. Obviously. What the heck? What is it, Kate Walker? The gates, they just closed. Oh, there must be a mechanism to open them somewhere. Closing time, huh? What am I supposed to do now? Sleep in a vault until morning? Which one? The outside, inside. It needs a key. The Undertakers must store their tools in it. I can't figure out where to go. Reporting for duty. A dead end. I'll have to go back. So we need a key. <clears throat> Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. What would she do without me? You're a buck. Here was the game. A dead end. I'll have to go back. Well, I'm James.
Hmm. I recognize some of the names here. Yeah, Pretty interesting. But I should get back to what I was doing. So of, course, of course, you cannot answer this simple question. Oscar might be able to help. I should go get him. Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. I need help here. Hmm. Let's see. Impossible to get through here. Better find another way. Can I just break the lock? Oscar might be able to help. I should go get him. It needs a key. But it doesn't look that strong, though. Exactly. It needs a key. But it doesn't look that strong, though. Can you tell me where I am? Hmm. The Undertakers must store their tools in it. I don't, I literally have no idea what I have to do. Maybe I could use this with the lock, but it's out of reach. Can you bring that pickaxe closer, Oscar? Of course, Kate Walker. And boom, another monster. Then say so for fuck's sake that you just don't know. Instead of being silent for an hour. This is how I, I would hit you because of it. Looks like it's compatible with a bigger mechanism. That, that, that just it, really? Mechanism. It seems connected to the gates, but I can't reach it from here.
of course walking out the cemetery can't be just easy. Grim. Oh, a crow. You seem disappointed, Kate Walker. About what? Well, correct me if I am wrong, but the fact that Dana Rose lost her baby and became sterile disproves your hypothesis that there can be a family link between you. Doesn't it? You're not wrong, Oscar, but I'm just stupidly over optimistic. I wish I were like you and not controlled by stupid emotions. Nice of you to say, uh, I guess. Um, sorry, Oscar, that didn't come out so well. Ah, uh, are you all right, Miss Walker? Let's take the tram back to the guest house, Miss Walker. Yeah, let's do it. Entrance, you say that plate was on the wall next to entrance, and you lied to me. It was the end of the cemetery. What about that mission Dana led with Leon's resistance network? It didn't turn out well, Miss Walker. Actually, that's the reason I left London to be here. Oh? Yes. Uh, just a second, Miss Walker. Where did I put it? What with this blasted storm? It's all over the papers. Here, have a look for yourself. Storm. Excavation work at Devil's Pass has been interrupted. An unexpected storm has obliged the Council to remove the bodies trapped in the ice since the Second World War, and to move them to the Silberspiegel Refuge. Those frozen bodies near the refuge. I heard about them just yesterday. Do you mean... There has been no formal identification yet, Miss Walker. But it's plausible that... That Leon, at least, is among those bodies, yes. Do you think Dana could be among the bodies? I suppose it would be logical. It would explain why I never saw or heard of her again after the mission. Yet, according to some witnesses, Dana really survived and indeed helped resistance fighters from Wagen until the liberation. But if those testimonies were true, then Dana vanished after the war. What about the other bodies? According to the medical examiner's office, in all... I think we are going to the extracted from the ice 
the one presumed to be Leon, and two others, a man and a woman not yet identified. What happened to Leon? According to the testimonies I've obtained, Leon was killed on that mission. The Foreign Office tasked Dana to lead, an avalanche apparently. I am one of the few people still alive to be able to identify him, which is why I'm here. If it weren't for this bloody storm, it would have been done today. I see. Try to stay positive, Miss Walker. Only a visual identification will allow us to be certain. We can go as soon as this storm's over, probably tomorrow or the day after. Right. Oh, they are really like uh, rain weather in real life. What about you guys? Miss Walker, we've arrived. But you're not coming, are you? Well, Miss Walker, you and might why. not be related to Dana, but you bloody well certainly remind me of her. You bloody? You blood. I wonder how this automaton know when he should go. I know, Oscar, I know. But I've just got to be sure. Because if one of those bodies turns out to be Dana, I... I... We'll have no more trains to chase? <laughs> Okay, guys, we know what? We will leave this mistake to be solved on another stream.